16 days. That is how long it's been since Hurricane Barrel hit the Houston area. Since that time, an 80 year old woman has been living with extensive roof and water damage. In fact, many of you have been commenting on our Click to Houston article about her concerned about the possibility of mold. Our Rowan Belogan live in East Houston now with how a nonprofit Rowan is stepping in to help her out. Yeah, Lisa, first you mentioned mold. It's something uh, the retired nurse here has thought about. She's had to call the ambulance to her home twice since Hurricane Barrel hit because she wasn't feeling too well. Today, that nonprofit stepping in a bit to help make a patchwork on the roof. Now she says she's feeling a little bit better. Nothing now. For 16 days. 80 year old Lottie Bennett dealt with an open roof after a tree slammed onto it when Hurricane Barrel hit. The roof finally getting covered after days of rain. How do you feel? I feel much better. I feel better because last night wasn't a very good night. Mm. How so? How was it? Oh, the rain. I got puddles in the carpet and everything. The stroke survivor gives us a tour of her home, showing the damage Barrel left behind. So. How, how do you feel through all of this? I feel horrible, forgotten. Because how can you, you know, expect someone to really go to sleep and sleep at night knowing the tree is down? You said you feel forgotten. What do you mean by that? And forgotten by who? About the city. Any time that I have to pay a bill or something, you expect me to pay the bill because I've used the appliances and everything, right? Bennett said a representative from Reliance visited her home last week. She was under the impression they would fix whatever power issue she had, but it didn't happen. The rep told her to hire an electrician to make repairs to the wires and weatherhead. I know that they can't do everybody, you know, at once but show some respect that you do care. Now, Bennett tells me after unsuccessfully attempting to sleep in the home again last night, those storms really prevented that. So today she's considering relocating to a hotel. Live in East Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.